I'm at content. The best content that we have ever put out is the podcast. We call it our content engine. It's the engine that drives the entire strategy that we have in terms of our content schedule. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. Why? Because frankly, I'm shit at content. And probably a lot of you would be like, hey, look, I like installing counters. I don't wanna stare into my camera for two hours a day trying to spout off nonsense that I don't even know is gonna reach the people who are gonna buy shit from me. I don't, I don't understand why I'm doing this. I don't understand who I'm doing it for. And frankly, I don't even like doing it. Has anybody ever felt like that? But you just do it because like, you gotta do it, right? Because everybody's telling you, you gotta do it all the time. Just do it! This is a perfect, perfect reason to have a show because we create eight to 12 podcast interviews every single month, but we release on every platform multiple times a day from cut up clips that come from the podcast itself. So the content that we release is not anything that I have to sit. Now, sometimes we do sit down and do kind of one-on-one -on -one camera stuff, but it's, it's rare because we have so much, and now the podcast has done over 800 episodes. And so we have so much back catalog to pull from that my team constantly has a library full of really good, engaging content that they can clip up and throw across every single social media platform and flood everybody with the content that we have. Some of it does you know, really poorly. Some of it does really well. The point is, is I don't have to take extra time out of my day to figure out when I'm gonna be able to sit down and record something. And the reason content is so important is because the thing that you're not going to lose in a recession is your audience, especially in a recessionary time period, but this is gonna be true across the board for most things. If you can afford to give your customer for free what your competition pays for, then you win. Would you, get, would you agree? If you can afford to give for free what your competition makes people pay for, then you're gonna win. And so that's what your content is. It's free stuff that builds an audience of people who care about the things that you're talking about. So in a recessionary time period, when people are pulling back on spending, what are they gonna do? They're still gonna be watching your content. I'll tell you the people that will not be struggling in this recession, again, I don't have a crystal ball, but if I were placing bets, I'd be placing a bet on anything that Gary Vee does in this recession. I'd literally want to die instead of fail. I'd be placing a bet on anything that Grant Cardone does in this recession. <laughs> I'll be placing a bet on anything that The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, Mark Wahlberg, all these people are, are doing in this recession. Why? Because they don't have the number one pain point that most business owners have, customers. They literally have built-in customers to any business that they start. 